downtown Dubai, home of the Burj Khalifa and the world's largest choreographed fountain at the Dubai Mall. It's not really a place you'd associate with affordability. Some of these hotels cost a fortune, but we're curious to see what the cheapest five-star hotel in this area can offer. Let's find out. We just checked into Hotel Indigo downtown Dubai, which as the name suggests, is in downtown Dubai. So if you've ever been to Dubai before, you know about the Burj Khalifa and the Dubai fountains. And this hotel is an 18 minute walk from the Dubai fountain. So no metro, no taxis, just an 18 minute walk. It is a little bit on the sort of outskirts of downtown Dubai, but if you were staying right in the heart of downtown Dubai, you would be paying hundreds and hundreds of dollars but we do have a pretty awesome view of the Dubai Creek here. Some really cool buildings and loads of uh, nice boats and yachts there as well. So let's show you the room that we're staying in tonight and then we'll tell you the price at the end. Welcome to our room here at the Indigo Hotel downtown Dubai. We actually got upgraded, so we had a lower floor and we also were pointing the other way, but the view that we've got here is Epic. We're on the 18th floor right now, which means that we're actually looking over some of the slightly shorter buildings right next to us. And the Dubai Creek it is super cool and it means that the room is really bright as well. In here, which is such a nice bathroom, if you come with me, I absolutely love the lighting. Who doesn't love a ringlet mirror? Waterfall shower in there looks epic. Everything looks really nice. It's like brass handles. New. It looks brand new, it's like white tiles. It's super fresh. As bathrooms go, this is a really nice one. No bathtub though, but we never really use them. We just really like having them. So in this case, it doesn't really matter. Right here, you've got pretty big storage. At the moment, there's no dressing gowns in there, which we're kind of sad about, and we thought they didn't have any, but we requested some, so they should be here shortly so we can wear them this evening. Then as you walk this way in the room, you've got some complimentary water, as well as Little quirky artworks. This hotel is sort of like a art installation hotel. If I'm not mistaken, there's around 200 art pieces or artworks throughout this hotel by local artists. So this is our dishwasher. It's not actually a dishwasher. This is actually the mini bar. It's not stocked at the moment. Uh, and I think a lot of places aren't really stocking their mini bars because of COVID, etc. But it's super cool. But it looks like a dishwasher for sure. <laughs> and then You've got the standards, the actual, oh, these are really nice. Oh, look at these, these are cute. You can have some tea <laughs> in the morning. Smart TV, which is very smart. As soon as we turned it on, it said our names and you can sort out all of the menus and things like that on there as well. Uh, this table spins for some reason. And here, safe, which is nicely tucked away. And plugs. Oh, loads of plugs. Bluetooth and everything. I bet you they've got a good sound system in here because there was something in the bathroom that was sound system-y. Yeah, this thing, let me show you. Now, I might be mistaken, but that looks like it's going from no sound to a lot of sound. And there's like a... There's no sound on right now, so... Oh, yeah. Right? Let's test that out. Yeah, get some pumping tunas in here. <laughs> anyway, before you get to the window and the really nice view, there is a huge king size bed and it looks, oh, it looks so nice. I'm actually gonna do a running jump for this one. Oh, oh that's nice. That's lovely. Oh, oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> That's really good. And from here, I can see the really nice um, lamp as well. It's quite quirky. I like that. Anyway, over here, we have another perfect example of the sort of quirky artwork. So we've got a blue camel floating in the sky uh, and also a cute lamp that's a shisha pipe. So that's quite fun. But really, the big sort of ooh of this room is definitely the view. So this way, it's loads of cool buildings. And then this way, it's like calm waters, some fancy boats. The lighting's really nice in here. We came into the room and the blinds were closed. And we thought, oh, we can't figure out how to open them. We're trying to pull them from side to side. Didn't work. And then, look at that. Good night. I'm amazed by that. I think that's awesome. <laughs>
but it's way too nice right now to have those closed. So let's pop them back open. <laughs> Very good. It'd be nice if these blinds were actually timed to your alarm. Oh. So in the morning, you wake up with the blinds opening. That would be perfect. That would be so nice. Yeah. So this hotel also has a spa, a 24 hour gym, a pool bar, a shisha bar, uh, a place that you can have all day brunch, but that's where we're also going to have breakfast tomorrow. And that's included in the price that we paid today. Oh, and there's a hair salon. There's actually a hair salon inside of this hotel. I'm not going to use it today, but how cool is that? Even though it's a nice and toasty 24 degrees C in here, it is absolutely roasting outside. So I think it's a perfect time to go check out the pool. Camera's uh... steamed up. It's like being in a sauna, the camera's literally just steamed up. It is like 35 degrees maybe right now, and about 25 inside, so. Yeah. <laughs> Much better. better. Yeah. We're just sat up by the, it's not really a rooftop pool. It's on the second floor, but it is fully out. It's so hot, it's really, really nice. Dylan's just got the menu on the QR code. Happy hour. Happy hour. Oh, it's happy hour now. It's happy hour, but drinks are still 35 dirhams each. So, but <laughs> we are in a Muslim country, so... Yeah, so alcohol sense. is obviously always going to be a little bit more expensive than you would expect in countries where it's super widely drank. Yeah. Um, I think but hotels are one of the only places that can sell alcohol in the UAE. Is that true? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Up here, very vibey. They're playing music, there's kids playing, there's some families laying around. It's quite like enclosed, so we've got a little almost like section of our own here yeah. with like a big sort of ah with a big mattress i don't know if you can see that <laughs> we're only on the, nice. we're only on the second floor but the view is still awesome it's like mm. uninterrupted yeah. i love the word uninterrupted but... <laughs> all right what do you want i want a cocktail cocktail yeah not the aperol spritz okay okay <laughs> Much nicer than Peroni. <laughs> no. So in the happy hour, there's two cocktails. There's an Aperol Spritz one, and I really don't like Aperol Spritz for some reason, and one called Up in the Air. I'm gonna have to read out what it is. <laughs> so it's gin with Mr. Grey syrup, Aperol. Oh, <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's not do the first bit then. <laughs> what was Aperol in it? Okay, so there's Aperol in this one but also peach schnapps and peach puree. So I think it will be less bitter than just like a straight up Aperol spritz. No, that actually is quite nice. It's a bit bitter though. <laughs> Aperol sneaks in everywhere, but, oh, that is so nice. Close with your top. Oh yeah. <laughs> then this has um, barley, malt, <laughs> And wheat. Oh. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Oh, that wasn't a cheers. Might made out of plastic. plastic. <laughs> oh. <sighs> my first beer in the UAE. It's our first drink in yeah, the UAE. Because it's so expensive. <laughs> <sighs> right, let's go check out this pool. Sexy music. <laughs> <laughs> Look how nice these are. Oh, I'll sit there. Thank you very much. Now for sunbathing. Perfect. Oh. Oh. It's a little bit cold. I think that's because it's just so hot here in Dubai. Oh. Just look at that view. This is definitely up there with one of the best pools we've had on this channel. And if the sun was here, it looks like it has been here, but we're here a, bit, a little bit late now. But I think now is the perfect time to say thank you to today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Since our work never really ends, we're always doing something. Whether it's answering comments, sending emails, planning videos, or editing, the list goes on. We've come to a point where we've realized 
we need to manage our time better. Recently, we've been taking a course on Skillshare called Simple Productivity, How to Accomplish More with Less by Greg McKeon, which has helped us to scale back and concentrate on the things that matter the most. Whether you live a busy lifestyle or you simply just struggle to say no to people and take too much on, this course will help you to know how to decide what's most important to you and focus on that. If this sounds like something you'd benefit from or just want to learn some new skills, Skillshare is the perfect platform for you. Skillshare is an online learning community that has thousands of classes across 150 countries on pretty much any topic. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description box will get a one month free trial of Skillshare, so you've got nothing to lose. Now, let's go to the pool bar and grab a shisha. Oh, look at that view. So we're now back in the pool bar by where we were having our drinks earlier. And just look at all these skyscrapers all lit up now. It's just so cool to be in such a busy city at night. All these buildings light up and they look awesome. We've just ordered a shisha when in Rome and a couple of drinks and a meze board. <laughs> I haven't had shisha for about 15 years it feels like. No, that, that would make me way too young. Anyway, <laughs> it's been a long time. It's really nice, it just feels like the vibe here, you know. We've got huge meze board, it's a sharing platter and it's definitely gonna be enough for the two of us for dinner, that's for sure. Glass of rosé, bottle of beer. In the mixed platter, we've got like halloumi, olives, hummus, loads of delicious looking things. It's a veg platter, so it doesn't have any meat, which is very nice for me. So lovely for Dylan <laughs> that he could just share this one with me instead. <laughs> It's actually quite empty here by the pool bar. It is really vibey. I imagine most people just take a stroll into actual downtown Dubai as opposed to staying in the hotel. But it's such a nice place. It's very vibey just to stay here and we essentially got the place to ourselves, which is not too bad. Especially not when you have hummus. Mm. Oh yeah. Even though we're quite full from this huge meze spread. There's always room for dessert, so let's head back to the room and get some room service. <laughs> so our room service dessert has just arrived. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, it is a orange labneh cheesecake, but it's like deconstructed cheesecake. So there's also pistachio crumble and honey glazed apricots on there. I think I remembered all of it. Smells and looks perfect. Look at that. Oh. Mm -hmm. Try it. I, I can't wait. <laughs> Good? Yeah. Well, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> After a great night's sleep, what better way to start the day than at the gym? Overlooking Dubai Creek, this gym was even better than we expected. Brand new equipment, enough weight to get a solid workout in, and this quirky looking treadmill. Now, all we need is some breakfast. So we've just come down for breakfast now in the Open Sesame restaurant, and it's a really very awesome, very big restaurant down on the ground floor. And as soon as we sat down, they asked us what kind of coffee we wanted. 
but we actually had brought some of our um, instant coffees, but we didn't have to do that because they have a full coffee station here where they made proper lattes with the whole latte art and everything. And then by the time we sat down, they'd already brought our egg dish that we already ordered. So I've gone for a Eggs Benedict that looks awesome. And you've got a... I got smashed avocado with two poached eggs and some cheese and oh, I can see by the way that the eggs wobble, like they're definitely done perfectly. So I'm gonna have to cut them open. Behind me, it's one of the dessert stations. So they've got little donuts and waffles, French toast, loads of different sauces, chocolate chips. Children would love this corner. I love this corner. <laughs> I'm glad we're sat right next to it. But over on the other side, there's loads of fruits. There's a whole fridge section with a variety of cheeses, including vegan cheeses, which is pretty epic. Yogurts, literally all the hot meals that you could imagine. Anything that you'd want at breakfast I, is here. This is such a good spread. I would say this is top three of all hotel breakfasts we've ever been to in our lives. <laughs> But we've not tried it yet, so that could change. <laughs> but I probably won't. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's like creamy. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> the, um, the guy who served us even asked us, how do you want your post sex done? And I don't like when the white is too runny, so I asked for, like, in between hard and soft. So let's see how mine are. That is just how I like them, actually. Oh, perfect. Mm, that is awesome. That is really good. That is really good. Okay, so was it worth it? Coming in at only $120 for a five-star hotel in this area of Dubai? Our answer is a resounding yes. Amazing facilities, one of the best hotel breakfasts we've ever had, and a pool that ticked every single one of our boxes. If you've enjoyed this video, then make sure to check out the video on the screen next, where we see what you can get in Dubai for only 100 US dollars.